I was so focused for so long on this idea of law of attraction and just like fleeing from negativity that I just didn't want to talk about negative things. Like if all of a sudden you're like, hey man, let me, let me uh, I really need to talk to you about some stuff. And all of a sudden it's like a bunch of freaking negative stuff. Like part of me like literally was like teaching myself to like completely disregard that. Cause like, I don't want that. I don't need, I don't need that energy. Yeah. Like I don't need that negative energy in my life. Like I'm trying to focus on only things that are positive and, and keep moving forward. And so I think a lot of it was like, it's basically, it's like kind of destroying that idea of saying like there's, there's, there's certain areas where dealing with negative thoughts and dealing with these, the negative emotions, and obviously these conversations tend to lean towards talking about negative emotions, but they can be the other way as well. Uh, but it's almost making it like okay, like to have those conversations as though somehow you can actually have something positive come out of talking about something negative. Where do you draw the line of like, all right, I'm gonna stop having all this negativity in my life, but also allowing people to be vulnerable. So I think the difference is in the intent to solve or the intent to dwell. Because a lot of people, they love to talk about the issues that they're going through for the sake of talking about the issues that they're going through. I, I literally think that there's a massive population of people that they love being in the negative place that they're in. And when I say that, pe people that are in that place are like, oh, I don't love it, I hate it. Let me tell you more about how bad it is. <laughs> but like, but it's like, that's just becomes who they are. It's almost like this, and Andy Frisella was talking about this recently on his new podcast, it's almost like people like, oh, you think you got it bad? Let me let me tell you how bad I got it. Sure, it's like, yeah, like my, my life's worse than yours because yeah. I got this and this and this. But if the intent behind you know, those more transparent conversations is like, hey, I'm going through some stuff, it should be leading towards like a solution. And here's the things that I'm starting to do, where then that conversation can go back and forth towards ultimately helping them get out of that negative space. It's the people that just want to live in that negative space that I can't, I can't be around. <clears throat> um, but everyone's got negative stuff going on. And I'm not saying I don't want to hear about it if I can help, but you have to be in a place in your life where you're wanting help and that you're wanting to get better and that you're wanting to get out of those negative situations or you're just going to live there. And I think there are a lot of people that are just comfortable living in the negative because they don't want to put in the work to make it you know, positive.